Good evening. It has now been one year since the first case of the virus was confirmed in western New York. So many families have experienced heartbreaking loss, more than 1,700 in Erie County alone. Jeff Rusak shows us the special dedication in their honor. One year. That's how long COVID-19 has tormented Erie County. Monday in downtown Buffalo, bells rang. Not in celebration of an end in sight, but a reminder of where we've come and who we've lost. Each one of those tolls represents 100 lives. The bells of the old Erie County Court building rang 17 times, remembering the 1,700 in Erie County alone who died from the virus. While we can never understand the pain of your loss, we grieve with you and to let you know we are here with you. Your loved one will not be forgotten. One is Jason Colon. The 40-year-old died in December of 2020. The wound is still fresh for his family from Lackawanna. They kept saying there's, there's no he cure. He was such a big guy and um, this is all that we can do for him yeah. is different things of posi positioning him and repositioning him. It started as something like the flu and ended with him in the ICU on a ventilator. While he's gone, his family says he still visits. He'll come down and give me a nice cold hug, yeah. and it's really awesome. Colin was just one of the 1,700 sons, daughters, wives, husbands, parents, who are no longer here. The fight against COVID-19 continues, but with Erie County fighting this battle for a full year, it looks back and remembers the lives lost. Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.